Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be cleaning up the uh, this original door card from my beetle. You can see it's, uh, it's a bit rough. This needs to be replaced. It's got some marks. There's a hole in the map pocket. But I think it's going to be better to fix this original one, if I can make it look nice, than to uh, buy a reproduction. New ones are like 200 bucks. Uh, that is the front and the back though. But um, these are the original to my car. And new ones, actually, they're a little inaccurate. These heat seams on the uh, originals are very flat. And on aftermarket ones, the material they use has some sort of backing, I would assume. And it makes them more uh, rounded in the middle between the heat seams. Makes them look more plush, I guess you could say. Like there's some sort of foam behind the vinyl. And it just, it doesn't look bad. It's just not original. So... I'm going to try and clean these up. I have a variety of things I'm going to use. Water. That was a pretty uh, easy one to decide on. Purple power. Simple green. I have no idea what the dilution is. I uh, This is a 60 ounce bottle of water. I probably emptied the water to about here. And then poured the simple green in. Or maybe here. I don't know. It's not one to one. I have this Comet uh, powdered stuff cleaner. I've never used it. I found it in the cleaning cabinet, and we're going to try that. Mike F. used something like that on some paint, I believe. We also have this magic eraser. going to use that. Paper towels, microfiber cloth. But um, well, there's the Comet stuff. So uh, let's get started. Just going to use water and a microfiber cloth. I, uh, this is a water bottle. Took a nail. VW Nut 67 does this. VW Nut 1967. Um, he he pokes a nail in this. I do too. Just poke a nail on the top. And then you can do that. So let's just take a microfiber cloth. Start with that. Just get it a little wet. Just wipe everything down. Let's see how much that helps. Of course, there is a, uh, it's like masonite or something on the backing of these. I don't know if you can see that right there. Mine's kind of warped. Um, that gets wet and bows. That's why you have plastic seals shaped like a door panel behind your door panel stuck to the door on uh, factory cars. and. A lot of restorations use them. It's what you want so that if water gets in the door, it doesn't ruin your panels. Oh, that cleaned up well, actually. Wow. Um, because if this warps, you know, you can flatten it out or you can pull the vinyl off and make a new panel out of some new masonite from somewhere like Lowe's or Home Depot. But, um, I don't think I'm going to have to do that. I might have to do that on the back door cards which aren't really door cards, but um, there's no door. So here's that after some water. It looks a little better, especially this. But now, let's try the magic eraser on some of these, these scuffs here. I'm gonna go run this under this. Whew. I'm gonna go run this under the sink and I'll be right back. seems to be actually working pretty well. I wouldn't be scared of this pebble finish coming off. It's pretty pretty durable, I would say. Of course, doing this constantly, I suppose, could mar it, but... Eh. You can see this pocket's still pretty dirty. That's going to be... A little trick here to clean, but nothing impossible, I don't think. Probably going to speed this up, put some music behind it, because I'm just doing the same thing on all of these black marks. I have no idea what they are. They could be from shoes opening and closing the door before I got the car. Who knows? This 
it's really, it's everywhere. So who knows, it's on the tops of the door cards, it's on the bottoms. It could just be from storage. You can see how dirty the magic eraser is getting though. In these heat seams, you can get in there, put your thumb, your uh, fingernail, thumbnail, <laughs> your fingernail on the magic eraser and get the heat seams. Hopefully I'll be able to get it off this edge here. That could be from tape actually, if you left tape on them maybe, who knows, I'm just rambling. It's kind of destroying the magic eraser. And you can see my panel is kind of warped, but that should go away, it's not too bad, so when the clips get stuck into the door, it should flatten out pretty good. Like I said, these are the original ones, I'm going to try and keep them. This I'm not too worried about since you can see the mark from where the uh, door handle covers up, and this is in the mark, but still going to try and clean it a bit. This is supposed to be chrome, so actually, yeah, this is going to get replaced. I was going to do it anyway because of that, but 100% replacing it now because of that. Let me dry it off with this microfiber. And this doesn't just have to, uh, this doesn't have to just be on a Volkswagen door card. Any door card like this, this will probably work. GM, Plymouth, Ford, anything. Anything with the door card like this. Alright. Let me get a paper towel. This is kind of annoying. I suppose I could uh, try and remake this out of some red vinyl. But, uh,. Eh, why bother? There's still a lot of black stuff, whatever it is under under here. That actually turned out really well. Wow, I'm just using the magic eraser. Well, let me try and hit this edge with something. It's like... It's a residue from something. I don't know if that's too close. You can see, though. It's a residue from something. So let me try and get that in a second. All right. So I think I'm going to try simple green on that, on a paper towel. I don't have a spray bottle, which is unfortunate. I tried to find one, but no luck. So I'm just going to do that. these edges of course gotta be careful when doing this don't want to damage them if it starts to move the color from your door panels stop so just make sure to test in it on the back of them just in case something like that were to happen it is coming off of it purpose I suppose I should be wearing gloves, but uh, I'm not. I don't have any gloves, unfortunately. If any of you have ever done this and you're just watching it because, let me know how you did it, how it turned out. Maybe send a picture of your car, email on the about page. Maybe that's a thing I could do. 
feature some some cars that you guys own in a video. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. I know 5150 has quite a few cars that could be featured. I mean like a little picture show. Like this is so-and-so's car from wherever USA or UK or Europe, whatever. So-and-so's car, what kind of car it is, a little bit of story about it and whatever. That'd be a cool idea. I don't watch TV, car shows on TV that often, but I think they used to do that And What's My Car Worth? No. Velocity channel. Ooh, some of that stuff's on my finger. Yeah, this cleaned up pretty well. Maybe I'll go grab a back one. Because that, that's going to be a little different. There, I know there's a little gluing that has to go on with those. good for now actually not too not too shabby the more little things you do when you can't do big things in the car like if it's too dark to weld if you just do stuff like this inside at least you're getting something done call that good for now not too bad this you know so the whole but black stuff on the edge is gone most of the black marks are gone for a driver car this will be perfect so let me go check out a, a back door card not even a door card but let me go grab one of those put it on, on the bench and see what's up with that all right so now you can see this back panel um, it's in similar condition. You can see I'm missing the ashtray cover, I believe, or yeah, the cover's missing. It still works though. Wow. Um, same black marks. Only now it's peeling off. So what are we gonna do about that? This. It's a rather beaten up can of it. But it is context meant. This is weld wood uh, by DAP. But um, any other brand I, I would assume would work. This is original. This isn't low, uh, whatever. The one that doesn't smell as bad, I guess you could say. This is the original. And it dries in, like it says, 15 to 20 minutes. You stick it together and it's there. So we're going to be using that. But first, I'm going to clean it. I've got a new magic eraser. I'm gonna go clean that. <laughs> gonna go clean it. I've got a new magic eraser. I'm gonna go put water on it and clean this. I'll be back. Right, I'm back. New magic eraser. It's already ripped though, just getting it wet, but whatever. Start cleaning up. That's gross. These panels really seem to be cleaning up with um, these magic erasers, so I don't even know if I'm gonna have to use any of the other stuff, simple green or well, I did use simple green, use the uh, purple power or the comet. So maybe you won't need to. Maybe you will. Experiment for yourself too. Let me know what happens. Leave a comment. You can hear the panel clips hitting the table. I would try to save those on your car as well. But, you can see, 
I think some of mine are missing. It's not too big of a deal. You can get new ones. It's just the originals I would always assume are better quality. I don't know. I haven't seen the new ones. I've just heard they're a bit of a pain to use, but I'm not talking from personal experience with them. Just so you know. Stunning. These are cleaning up really well. I'm glad I have not bought new door panels, and I'm glad I decided that I was going to keep the originals. See those little marks like this. Sure, they're, they're damaged to the panel, but it's the original panel for the car. It's, it's 50, 2019, 52 years old now. It survived this long, and it's been damaged very little. Why not keep it going? And then we can, uh, we can start attempting to re-glue this together. Not an attempt, we're going to re-glue it together. Right, so you can see... Oh! New idea. This stuff, yes, yeah, gonna use it on the edges. This is Elmer's spray adhesive, and it's temporary if you let it set up a little bit. But if you just spray it and attach it, it's permanent. So when I saw this, you can see it's glued everywhere originally. We can, uh, we can do that too. We can get it glued everywhere as well. Original grease pencil, these foam seals. But you can see it's pretty much just held on by this now. So we can, we can get this all set where it's supposed to be and such. Of course the vinyl shrinks a bit, so you just gotta make do with what you can. I think that's going to be pretty good. It's shrunken a little right here, right? Maybe not, actually. Maybe it was just cut wrong. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh... This does, uh smell like an aerosol, so you might might want to open a window or use a fan. <laughs> yep. Oh. If you get it on your arm, it feels weird. Of course, you don't want to get any on this probably comes off relatively easy, but just rather not have to take it off at all. Press down. And I assume if you really wanted to, you could use the spray glue on the edges as well. But I'm going to get, I'm going to pull this all off first. It's annoying. Just a little upholstery foam. Go get that at like Joanne Fabrics or something if you want to replace it. I don't know if they sell kits. Maybe West Coast Metric. West Coast West Coast Metric has it. I don't think Wolfsburg West sells it. But uh, who knows? I didn't, I didn't. I didn't really go looking. All right. Let me get a paintbrush. And we'll do uh, some gluing there. Mm. Yeah. All right, paintbrush there, can of glue there. Got to open the can of glue. Got to find a screwdriver. Getting all organized today. 
or every day. Nope, that happen. There we go. I saw one in the other room. So the bigger screwdriver I saw happened to be a Phillips head. So this is what I have to open the can. It's not going to be too bad. I don't really close this can tightly. Never had any issue. Oh. Oh. This stuff also smells. So definitely open a window with this. And we'll be using this to stir it since I don't have a stirring stick. But uh, all I'm really doing is getting stuff off the bottom. And I'm actually going to use something to cut this. Yeah, okay, that's a cut. Stir it up a bit. Get all the glue from the bottom. Mix with the glue on the top. Whatever it is. Definitely stuff sits in the bottom of the cans though. Alright, throw that in the garbage. And I'm going to start coating this. And this dries in 10 to 20 minutes. So, just let it set up. You can stick it before that time, but it takes a... You actually have to hold it a bit. If you wait the actual time, it just sticks right to itself. And you want to make sure you get both the vinyl and the uh, masonite because that's the only way it's going to stick. This isn't a glue where you just coat one thing and they stick. You actually have to coat both. And I'm just going to do this part this 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 time. I'm going to do the this in a separate um, time, I don't know how to say. This is going to be one one glue up, and this is going to be another. Just so I don't m mess anything up too bad. If anything does get messed up, but uh, I don't think anything's going to get messed up. I'm gonna make sure I get all these. And you'll know the glue is ready when you can touch it and you don't really stick to it. This brush, you don't you want to use a brush you don't care about. This is not gonna be salvageable after using this glue. But uh we'll let that set up. And I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes to put it together. Okay, so this glue is about ready. So I'm just going to fold it over and just press it. Might use a hammer for a bit, but shouldn't really need to. It should just stick down. If you want on buses, on campers on the bed they used um, like hockey tape I think it's called for hockey sticks I think you could probably put some of that along here and you'd be pretty good from this pulling off again and you could staple it I suppose they didn't do it from the factory though so there's probably no need You can see right here the uh, right here the original masonite's broken, so I'm gonna have to fix that with something. But 
uh, make it a hammer. I'm gonna get a better hammer. Just do that. Make sure the vinyl's kind of pulling up because of the clip, but I'm not gonna do anything about it because the factory didn't do anything about it. So why am I? Okay, so I just realized, just gonna let you know. These go over the final edge. This vinyl was pushing up against it, and I said, whatever, the factory didn't do anything about it. The factory did do something. They just put the clips over it. And it held it down there, so it doesn't matter that there's no glue. But, um, just so you know, clips go over the edge. Boom. Restored. At least this edge. Stuck on, not coming off. Still got a glue up here. But this isn't coming off at all. That's really good. I'll do the top edge now. Alright, I am back. Took a little break. This has been drying on there. It's on there pretty good, not gonna come off. Now I've got to work on the top. Starting about here. This is not gonna be usable after this uh, second gluing, but it won't need to be. It's like a dollar store paintbrush, so no harm done. Uh, okay. It's gonna do the top. Top is gonna be the same as the bottom, so I'm just gonna fast forward this a bit. Oh, you can see these tabs are in all sorts of different orientations. This one's close to the edge, this one's angled, this one's going towards the side, this one's up top, this one's up top. Um, a lot of people think that they always have to point directly to the edge, but um, that's not the case. A lot of the time, they're all over the place to get them to fit. So just remember that when you're doing yours. I think I saw on the Samba in the split bug or oval bug uh, forum, somebody used paper, uh, like a poster board, put it over the holes, marked them, and then transferred those marks to the masonite, and they were able to just align them all that way. It made pretty pretty easy work out of it instead of having to fight to get them aligned. There's a channel, uh, School Street Garage, I think, and you can see I'm pretty sure in one of his videos, I remember him doing door door cards and he had to align them all. It's a little bit of a pain, but not too bad. But there are ways of making it easier, like that poster board thing. It's just whether it's worth taking your time to cut a poster board pattern and align all the things or just align them as you go. For this one, I might actually be able to um, get like weather seal, weather stripping from the hard, hardware store and just replace it with that. I have no idea what it, how thick it originally was or anything, so might just try that or see what's on the back of the new panels, even if it's not 100% correct. And now I'm going to do something for 15 to 20 minutes while well, this dries. Alright, so now the top is dry, it's been like 15-20 minutes, I'm going to do the same thing, push it down, and it'll just stick. I'm going to use some pliers to grab that one, it's a little small. What do we got? This one's... Or any actual, yes. 
Alright, yep, I'm gonna use these pliers. I'm just gonna pull it. That one was a little small, so. These ones are actually, just generally. Look at the hammer on these ones, actually, really. Okay. This edge right here might get a few staples put in it because it's it's shrunk since it was it was new I think. Like see this is pulling up. So I might want to put a few staples in there. Oh I don't have any hockey tape. But I have some packing tape. So I'll just a little bit of that. It really seems to be just this piece right here. It's wanting to pull up. One quick wipe down with some water. Okay, so you can see in these, it's a little bit gross. So this is an old toothbrush. It's a little gross too. What I'm gonna do, take it, put it in the symbol green, take it out. Let's do that. I mean, I'm not gonna spend all day doing this. This also works for like putting in here. But um I'm not gonna spend all day doing this just because I'm gonna have to do this again. Or clean them up a bit before I put them in the car. But this is what you can do to get in these heat seams. Overall, I don't think this turned bad out. Turned, I don't think this turned out bad at all. Actually, much better than what it was before. It's not falling off of the actual panel now. I can put it in the car. It'll be a door card. You know, a few small imperfections, but after 52 years, what are you going to expect? Alright guys, so here they are. I think they turned out fantastic for being 52 years old. There's no more black marks along the edges. The rear panel isn't falling off the masonite anymore. And I think with a little work, the pocket on the driver's panel is going to be okay. I might fix it, might just make a new one out of some red vinyl. Don't know yet, but either way, it'll, it'll be fine. It looks really good right now as it is. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I hope you can use this on your restoration, if you are restoring a Volkswagen. And uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.